It's Monsters Rock Week, and I'm backstage at the Monsters Rock Festival at Castle Donington, England, with James from Metallica. Now, you guys just finished playing, and it was one of the sets that I actually got to sneak out and watch, which was great. I mean, you saw the, the bottles flying in the air. Yeah. I mean, there was wild. all the... They weren't full of piss, though. I was uh -huh. disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't look like anything went flying on stage. Nah, they were too far away or something, or they didn't... They weren't worked up enough, or they were too drunk to throw that far. <laughs> now, this was your second time playing uh, Castle Donington, right? Third time, actually. Oh, it was your third time? I didn't yep. even know that. First now, time was 85, I think, with uh, ZZ Top, and it was 87 with uh, Ben Jarvis, and then uh, this one. Uh-huh. Ben Jarvis being Bon Jovi? Yeah, that guy. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that. I guess you and John have got like this friendship thing, right? Where that's what uh, you call buddies. each other? Of sure. We are. Now, could you notice a difference? I mean, Metallica is obviously getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And with this album, I mean, I think it's definitely going to be your biggest album yet. Can you notice with the fans already, just the Metallica fan base getting bigger? Um, well, it's hard to tell. I mean, we're just doing the festival thing now. I mean, when we headline, we'll probably tell who who's showing up and who ain't, you know? Okay. Let's play a video from guys that I know are also big Metallica fans. Here's Guns N' Roses with You Could Be Mine. It's a Monsters Rock weekend. We're here backstage at Castle Donington for the Monsters Rock Festival. Right now, James from Metallica. And I don't want to be on the verge of being repetitive because I know a lot of people have told you this, but I really, really, really dig the new album. Thanks. Seriously. Yeah. Now, um, it's, some of the stuff sounds a little bit different. I mean, on the ballads, for instance, on the song The Unforgiving, you sing really good. <laughs> Was it perhaps a new yeah, producer? Bob did pretty good. He sang good on that one. <laughs> Bob, Bob did, right? <laughs> yeah. It uh, was just a... Uh, eh, went about it differently. Wanted to try something different, you know? How do you think the new Metallica fans are going to react to it? Uh, they'll probably hate me forever, and I don't give a shit. <laughs> do you have a feeling that... Uh, I mean, my prediction was that the new record's probably going to enter the charts at number one, or do you really care about how it does on the charts, or...? Uh, I think a certain drummer minds uh -huh. i don't i don't really i mean i want people to hear it because i've worked on it for eight months i want you know people to hear it basically okay. also a uh, thing that's that's pretty good for us here at mtv is metallica is now doing videos before we play this video i have to ask the question how did you get that kid to put snakes all over his face <laughs> uh he pretty much dug it he yeah. likes snakes and all oh you so you found a little kid like oh snakes. yeah I, okay Here's a video that kind of shows every bad dream you've ever had. Here's a, uh, I mean, that's what it's about, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, just making sure. Here's Enter Sandman from Metallica. 